Let's quickly talk about a scandal that's not even been mentioned by anybody else. So earlier today, we found out that this issue of statues in this country that again came from America, the lefties in America start bringing down the different monuments and statues. It's happened here too in Bristol and Colson was one of them and various other historic figures. There have been court cool cases and we just discovered that four idiots who went after this specific uh, statue, they have been cleared by the jury and by the courts. Now, we always have to respect the rule of law. We always have to respect the judiciary in general. This is not about the result because if the jury decided, they've decided. But you can still have opinions anyway, both sides, regardless of what the court case is at the end of it. I have a bigger problem with the precedents created. So this, the whole system that we have, the justice system in this country, which was always superior, world class, we gave it to the world. It was based on creating precedents. Now this decision is creating that new precedent, which is very, very problematic. Firstly, the jury decided that it was fine for a group of thugs to go and bring down monuments and stuff like that because on the grounds that they found it offensive. So that specific statue was offensive, which is based on emotions, not concrete evidence, nothing rational or logical. That's the first problem we have. So I can express an opinion. It's my, it's my emotions against an emotional case. It's not, I can't make uh, an opinion based on any court case that is simply based on facts and evidence because I'm not the expert and I was not part of the jury, for example. So based on this new precedent, they are now going to allow anyone and individual groups to go and vandalize uh, the whole country if they find, if they can convince the courts that I find that offensive based on this that affected my emotions. Do you realize how dangerous this is? You do realize how aggressive we are going towards the wrong side of leftism. We kept joking for years in this country for the past few years about woke culture, about the snowflakes. We were so complacent, we thought it only applies to America. It came here and then we still made fun of them because we didn't realize the threat. Now this is happening. Even right now, this, what I just said, is going to be added to the list of the same monologue 10 years, five years from now. Someone like me will say that that even in 2022, we just said that, oh, there's a problem, but nothing was done. We are now allowed to bring down statues and monuments if you personally find it offensive. You do as what you got because them done. You open the door to dark darkness. If there are, there are going to be some people on the other side of the political spectrum, the right, who are now gonna go after certain <laughs> monuments, certain statues. Then you're gonna cry. Then you're gonna have a meltdown. Then there'll be a court case. And then we'll see if the future juries will be on that side or not. Yeah, share this video because it's actually this very important topic. It's not a current affairs kind of piece of uh, political news in that sense, but it just came out the court uh, the, uh, the outcome. And this verdict will be a historic verdict and not for the good reasons. Subscribe to the channel. I'm Maya TC and we are the media.